The name's Bond. James Bond. Daniel Craig is a British theater and film actor who became world famous after the role of James Bond. His Bond chapter is over, and as Daniel says, he leaves this role in a better state than it was when he got it. But besides Agent 007, Craig has many other roles. James Bond, how Daniel Craig lives and how much he earns. Daniel Rotten Craig was born in the English city of Chester on March 2, 1968, and is of English, Welsh, Scottish, and Irish descent. His mother, Carol Olivia, was an art teacher, and his father, Timothy John Rotten Craig, had served in the Merchant Navy and worked as an engineer at a steel plant before becoming the owner of two pumps. Craig has an older sister named Leah. When Daniel was four years old, his parents divorced and his mother moved with her children to the Wirral Peninsula. She started working at the Liverpool Theatre and captivated Daniel with this art. The boy spent time behind the scenes and in the auditorium and took part in school performances from the age of six. A few years later, his mother remarried to the famous artist Max Blanc and Craig got a stepbrother Philip. Daniel never stopped communicating with his biological father, who also made a new family, until his death in 2020. Craig Sr. appeared at the premieres of his son's movies a few times, and he loved to claim that he was the first to recognize Daniel's acting talent and predict a successful career for him. As a child, Craig changed several schools and didn't show much enthusiasm for learning, but he read and studied music with great pleasure, took part in performances, and trained in a rugby team. While playing rugby, Daniel had injured his shoulder and it began to bother him many years later, so he had to undergo a surgery. At 16, Craig auditioned for the National Youth Theatre and moved to London. To pay for the big city life, he worked part-time in restaurants, combining the duties of a waiter, dishwasher, and cleaner. As part of a theatrical troupe, he toured in many countries. To perfect his acting skills, Craig applied to the Guildhall School of Music and Drama, but he entered only on the third attempt in 1988. The young man studied at this prestigious educational institution for three years. In 1991, Daniel met the actress Fiona Luden, and they got married the following year. Soon, their daughter Ella was born, but the couple separated four years after the wedding, maintaining friendly relationships. Meanwhile, Craig debuted on the big screen in the sports drama The Power of One, followed by small roles in such TV shows as Covington Cross, Boone, Zorro, The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, Heartbeat, and others. The actor didn't stop working at the theater either. In the following years, he appeared in A Kid in King Arthur's Court, TV series Our Friends in the North, Tales from the Crypt, The Fortunes and Misfortunes of Mole Flanders, The Ice House, The Hunger, and The Drama Obsession. In 1997, Daniel started dating the German actress Heike Makac. They often appeared together at social events and were even engaged, but they never got married. The couple broke up in 2004. In 1998, Craig played the lover of the artist Francis Bacon in Love is the Devil. I've got things to do. I've got people to see. I've got people who want to see me. You know, I did have a life before I met you, Francis. You know, wide circle of friends. He received the Edinburgh International Film Festival Award for this role. In the same year, he played one of the conspirators in the historical drama Elizabeth. Then, the Englishman added several other movies to his filmography, like Love and Rage, The Trench, I Dreamed of Africa, Hotel Splendid, and Sword of Honor. But the comedic drama Some Voices attracted special attention of critics. In it, Craig played a schizophrenic patient who fell in love with a woman after being discharged from a mental hospital. Imagine if we'd never met. Imagine if we'd each met somebody else who we didn't need to meet. We'd spent the rest of our life in a meaningless spiral of mediocrity and disillusion. After that, the actor received an invitation to work in Hollywood in the 2001 film Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. Yeah. Hello, Alex. I suppose you think I'm a greedy, unscrupulous sellout and do just about anything for money. Yes, that's right. Well, the money bit's true, I guess. 
And when Angelina Jolie, his partner on set, said that her colleague was an amazing kisser, it fueled interest in him even more. In the next few years, Daniel starred in the movies Road to Perdition, Ten Minutes Older, The Cello, The Mother, Sylvia, Enduring Love, Lair Cake, The Jacket, Fateless, Archangel, Munich, and Infamous, and took part in voice acting the cartoon Renaissance. In October 2005, the producers of the next Bond film, Casino Royale, announced Daniel Craig as the new James Bond. The actor found found out about being approved for the role when he was shopping. He couldn't even brag about it to his family, so he just bought vodka, vermouth shaker, and glasses to make himself a martini for the first time in his life. The new Bond displeased the fans. Craig's appearance really doesn't match the canon description of the agent. He's blonde, 5 foot 8 feet tall, and stocky. The actor himself doubted for a long time whether he should take the role. However, Daniel was supported by many of the actors who had previously played 007, Pierce Brosnan, Timothy Dalton, Sean Connery, and Roger Moore. And after the release of Casino Royale on screens in November 2006, all critics admitted they were wrong. They will know where he'll be. Do you want a clean kill or do you want to send a message? We want him alive. The film broke box office records and became the highest grossing in the history of Bond movies. The actor received $3.2 million for his work. In addition, Daniel became the first actor to be nominated for a BAFTA for his role as James Bond. To prepare for the role, Craig read all of Ian Fleming's novels and spoke with agents of Mossad and the British Secret Service. He had also had to quit smoking and start exercising regularly at the gym. The audience appreciated the results of these efforts during the scene of him getting out of the water in blue swimming trunks, which the actor hated, by the way. Daniel Craig is not the only first actor younger than the Bond movie series, but also the first one to stop asking for a shaken, not stirred martini by answering the bartender's question with, I don't care. Walk a martini. Shaken or stirred? Do I look like I give a damn? This phrase was pure improvisation, but it made it into the movie. While on the set, the actor lost two front teeth during the first action scene, and his dentist had to fly in from London to replace them. The Englishman admits that he never dreamed of playing James Bond. As a child, he liked Superman, Spider-Man, Invisible Man, or even Cowboys, but not the MI6 agent. In the future, he made attempts to get rid of this image, although in the end, he admitted that it was still interesting to transform into James Bond. In the wake of his popularity in 2006, Esquire magazine recognized the Englishman as the most styled man in the world, while the audience saw him in the fantastic thriller The Invasion. Its filming process took a long time and some efforts. The director was replaced, the script was rewritten, and the crew had to pause filming to let Craig go to Casino Royale press conferences. As a result, the movie didn't even pay off its budget. At the end of 2007, the family fantasy The Golden Compass was released after which the actor returned to the image of the special agent in Quantum of Solace, the world premiere of which took place on October 29, 2008. Well, it would be a pretty cold bastard who didn't want revenge for the death of someone he loved. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not going to go chasing him. He's not important. And neither was she. The events of the movie take place just an hour after Casino Royale. On the set, Daniel got injured. His fingertip was cut off by a bullet, which made it impossible to get a print because it had been erased. The movie is full of stunts, many of which the actor tried to perform himself. For example, he actually jumped from the third floor of a building onto the roof of a moving truck. This is the first movie in the franchise in which the famous phrase is never Bond James Bond mentioned. The film director decided that it didn't work well in this movie and removed the scene in post-production. The lead actor's payout rose to $7.2 million, and the box office surpassed $580 million. But the creators of the movie considered it not so successful because of the writer's strike. The producers and the director had to finalize the plot already on the set, trying to make the story work. In the same 2008, Daniel appeared in the drama Flashbacks of a Fool and played a Polish Jew who created a partisan detachment during World War II in the military drama Defiance. The movie received controversial reviews but paid off at the box office. The following year, Daniel Craig played alongside Hugh Jackman in the Broadway production of A Steady Rain. He attended the premiere of the play with his fiance, film producer Satsuki Mitchell. They had been dating for five years and were about to get married before Daniel broke off the engagement in 2010. Rumor has it, he ignored calls or messages from his ex and then just changed his phone number. After that, Satsuki, who knew the passwords to his credit cards, 
spent millions of dollars from his accounts. The fact that Craig left for actress Rachel Weisz became known later. In 2010, there were rumors about the Briton being gay after he was spotted at a gay bar. The rumor died down when his secret wedding to Weitz in 2011 in New York became public. The ceremony was attended only by witnesses and children of the actors from their exes, Craig's daughter Ella and Weitz's son Henry. Daniel and Rachel met back in the 90s, but they were only friends for a long time until the actors were invited to play a married couple in the psychological thriller Dreamhouse. And this is a... Uh... This is a new cushion, I see. Shall I give it a squeeze? Yes, I think you should. Mm -hmm. oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> This film came out in 2011 and flopped at the box office, receiving devastating reviews from critics on top of that, but Craig received a $5 million payout. In the same year, Daniel voiced the documentary One Life and the animated film The Adventures of Tintin. He also appeared in the fantasy western Cowboys and Aliens, for which he lost 20 pounds and received a payout of $6 million. For the role of journalist Mikhail Blomkist in the film The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, with the same payout of $6 million, Daniel gained weight. To accurately hide Craig's athletic figure, costume designers dressed him up in several layers of t-shirts and sweaters. For an author? Well, I'm doing a biography of Herr Wenger. Huh. I saw you on television. That's unfortunate. Bit of trouble, I guess. Craig's third Bond movie, Skyfall, was released in 2012. It also brought him injuries. Daniel pulled a muscle in his leg on the set. According to a producer of the movie, the official Bond passport used by Daniel Craig is not just a prop, but a genuine document issued by the UK Home Office. However, for safety reasons, the passport is coated with information which will not expose it when used in any formal transaction. 007 reporting for duty. Why didn't you call? You didn't get the postcard? The Englishman's payout was 17 million and he received another 3 million as a bonus. In the same year, Daniel Craig appeared in the role of James Bond in the video for the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games in London, in which he accompanied Queen Elizabeth II to the stadium. In 2013, the actor and his wife Rachel Weitz acted in Broadway's Betrayal, which came in second at the box office that year. For starring in the next Bond movie, Spectre, which came out in the fall of 2015, Craig received $25 million and another $5 million as a bonus. However, he suffered some injuries during the action scenes again. On the set of the chase scene in Rome, the actor hit his head and injured his knee joint in a hand-to-hand -hand combat scene on the train. In the same year, Daniel played a cameo role as a star trooper in Star Wars The Force Awakens. In 2016-2017, he played Lago in the Broadway production of Othello. Craig's next film role was the 2017 comedy Logan Lucky, about two brothers who committed robbery during a NASCAR race. It was another attempt to move away from the usual image of Bond, and for the sake of the role, the actor even lightened his hair. Well, how goes it? Well, now I'm sitting on this side of the table wearing a onesie. How do you think it's going? Then the Briton took part in the voice acting in the TV show Comrade Detective and starred in the Thriller Kings, which takes place during the riots of 1992 in Los Angeles. But despite a good basis for the story and a talented cast, the film received a low approval rating and the critics described it as a missed opportunity. After the wedding, Daniel and Rachel kept their private lives a secret, so the social media started talking about a breakup every time when celebrities didn't show up on the red carpet together. These rumors died down a bit in 2018 when Whites announced her pregnancy. Their daughter was born in September. When Craig was photographed carrying a baby in a sling, a British TV presenter unexpectedly criticized him for losing his masculinity. Many netizens defended the actor, and Captain America's actor Chris Evans noted that only one who is deprived of it will worry about someone else's masculinity. In 2019, Craig starred in Knives Out, where he played a private detective Benoit Blanc. He developed a southern accent specifically for the role. But let me assure you this, my presence will be ornamental. You will find me a respectful, quiet, passive observer of the truth. Creating this image, the actor was inspired by films about Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple. Daniel Craig has stated many times that he's tired of the role of James Bond and is leaving the franchise. He even gave a parting word to the next actor to take on the role. But after a break and some rest, he realized that there were some unfinished storylines in the story, so agreed to star in the 25th overall and 5th film for him, 
Bond film No Time to Die. His payout was $25 million, but this amount is likely to increase by bonuses. The release of the movie took place at the end of September 2021. Filming took place on the ground, in the air, and at sea in different parts of the world. You know that history isn't kind to those who play God. And you don't? One of the most difficult was the winter scene in Norway, right on a frozen lake. In Jamaica, Craig got injured again. He hurt his ankle and had to undergo surgery. A month before the premiere, the documentary being James Bond was released about the filming of No Time to Die. It showed Daniel giving an emotional farewell speech, thanking the entire film crew. After 15 years as the main special agent of the cinema, Craig was awarded the title of Honorary Commander of the Royal Navy for his contribution to forming a positive image of the Royal Navy and support for military families. His on-screen character also bears the same title. Also, by the end of the Craig era in Bond movies, the actor received a personal star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame next to the building number 7007. The future of the 007 franchise is discussed not only by fans, but also by Daniel himself. He stated that he doesn't want Bond to be a woman. He says that there should be better rules for women, new characters should be created instead of just turning a male character into a woman. Also in 2020, Craig struck a deal with Netflix on the shooting of two sequels to the detective films in the Knives Out franchise. The deal earned him $100 million. A significant part of payout is compensation for lost profit from the fact that the films will be released in the streaming service, not only in the cinema. The Briton also plans to star in the action films The Creed of Violence and the series Purity. Daniel Craig's net worth is $160 million. Of these, almost $85.5 million are income from Bond movies, making Craig the highest paid Bond actor ever. In addition to these, the role of the special agent brought the Englishman large advertising contracts with the Swiss watch company Omega, car manufacturers Aston Martin and Range Rover, and the Heineken Brewery. Craig turned down a $5 million deal with Sony, who wanted their smartphone to appear in Spectre. The director of the film then said that James Bond uses only the best. The actor doesn't intend to leave the earned money to his children and plans to donate it to charity. He has a long history of collaborating with various AIDS organizations, as well as those that help orphans fight gender and ethnic inequalities. Together with Rachel White, he regularly helps students from poor families receive a prestigious education at good universities. Since 2015, he has been the UN ambassador for Mine Action. Little is known about the Briton's private life. From his rare confessions and interviews, it is clear that he cooks well and likes to taste dishes from different countries together with his wife. Daniel doesn't like to show off his tattoos, most of which he considers personal and hides under clothes. But what the actor talks about with great pleasure is the football club Liverpool, which he's been rooting for since childhood. Daniel's passion for Liverpool is best exemplified by the story of Sir Alex Ferguson, legendary Manchester United manager. Once he flew with Craig's mother in the same plane and invited her son to a match, to which she replied, I don't think he wants to watch United play. Together with his family, Daniel lives in a townhouse in Brooklyn, New York. Built in 1901, this five-story mansion in the historic Cobble Hill with an area of 6,600 square feet was bought in 2018 for almost $7 million. It took some time to repair because a few years before the purchase, there was a fire. The house has high ceilings, six bedrooms and five bathrooms, spacious living room, kitchen with dining area, and a rooftop patio. Since 2011, the couple owns a penthouse at 20 Green Street in New York City worth $11.5 million and an area of 4,400 square feet. In 2012, Craig and White bought an apartment for $6 million on the 15th floor at the new theater building on East 10th Street in Brooklyn, but sold it at the same price in 2019. Another Daniels real estate was an apartment in Lower Manhattan with one bedroom, bathroom, living room, and kitchen worth $1.9 million. Little is known about his London apartment. Daniel bought it in 2008 for 4 million pounds, about 5.5 million, and later quarreled a little with some of his neighbors because of the large tree that grew on his plot. The neighbors said that the tree damages the foundation of their house with its roots and it needed to be cut down. To resolve this dispute, the district council was forced to intervene. Many media credit Craig with buying the Victorian castle at Dalby Hall in Lincolnshire, worth 19 million. However, the actor's representatives denied this information. Daniel's car collection includes a Range Rover Sport, Lexus RX, Mercedes S-Class, Audi A6, Audi RS6, and an Aston Martin Vantage Roadster in bright red. Daniel Craig became the personification of the reborn Bond franchise, which is trying to keep up with the times. Therefore, the inevitable change of the actor playing 007 provokes more heated discussion than ever. Who do you think could be the next James Bond?
If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.